फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल बच्चा वाला मैथ्स टुडे विल डू क्लास टेन जनरल साइंस सम इम्पॉर्टेंट कैंस क्वेश्चन फॉर योर हाफ एल एग्जाम सो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो एज यू कैन सी द क्वेश्चन ऑन योर स्क्रीन नंबर वन क्वेश्चन टू डिके स्टार्ट इफ द पी एच ऑफ द माउथ फॉल्स बिलो तो द आंसर इज फाइव पॉइंट फाइव यू कैन सी द आंसर रिटर्न एट द साइड सो इफ द पी एच इज बिलो फाइव पॉइंट फाइव टू डिके स्टार्ट ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एन एलिमेंट रिएक्ट विद ऑक्सीजन गैस टू गिव कंपाउंड विद हाई मल्टिंग पॉइंट दिस कंपाउंड इज ऑल्सो सेल्यूबल इन वाटर द एलिमेंट आर लाइकली टू बी द ऑप्शन आर गिवेन कैल्सियम दैन दिस कार्बन सिलीकॉन एंड आयरन ओके सो आउट हियर कैल्सियम इज द आंसर रिमेंबर दैट दिस इज द एलिमेंट विच वैन रिएक्ट विद ऑक्सीजन विथ हाई मेल्टिंग पॉइंट एंड फॉर्म सोल्यूबल एंड आर सोल्यूबल ऑल्सो सोल्यूबल इन वाटर ओके नेक्स्ट द चेंज इन द फोकल लेंथ ऑफ द आई इज कॉस्ड बाय द एक्शन ऑफ द ऑल ऑफ यू नो सिलरी मसल्स कॉजेस द चेंज इन द फोकल लेंथ सो इट आंसर विल बी सिलरी मसल्स ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द एंजाइम दैट कन्वर्ट स्टार्स टू सिंपल शुगर इज All of you know the the enzyme which converts simple sugar, uh, starts to simple sugar is salivary amylase or amylase. So the answer will be salivary salivary amylase or amylase. Okay, okay. The next question: the brain is responsible for number one option is thinking, number two body balance, regulation of heartbeat, and all of the above. So all of you know that brain is the captain of the body. It regulates almost all the functions given in the options. So it will be all of the above. Next question: The gap between two neuron is known as the answer is synapse. Okay, all of you know the gap between two neurons are is called synapse. Okay. Next question, number seven: Which of the following uh, reproduces by the method of binary fission? So all of you know that by binary fission, many organisms reproduce like amoeba, then Leishmania, and some bacteria. Okay. So here option is Leishmania. So option number three is the Correct option. Then, tall pea plant are crossed with dwarf pea plants. The first generation of plant will be. So it's talking about Mendel experiment. All of you know Mendel's monohybrid law. It's uh, when it cro when he crossed uh, pure breed of tall pea plant with pure breed of dwarf plant. In the first generation, he got all the tall pea plants. So here will be all tall plants. Okay. Number nine. Where should an object be placed in front of a concave mirror to get a real image? Uh, real image of the same size of the object. So all of you know that in a concave mirror, the image can be placed in different positions. Like suppose if I make a concave mirror out here, so infinity, then uh, beyond, uh, be, uh, then this is suppose, so this is suppose C, this is suppose F, and uh, this is optical center O. Okay, so be uh, infinity first position, second will be beyond C. third will be at c then between c and f and between o and f so all of you know that when a object is placed at c then it forms the image and the image and the object size are same so the answer will be the object should be placed at center of curvature okay next the refractive index of diamond is so all of you know the refractive index of diamond one question is there or one chart is there in your textbook you should learn that that is the refractive index of water is 1.33 just remember then of diamond is 2.42 and the that of uh, that of a glass is 1.52 okay, if i am right i'm confused about this but uh, these two are correct so learn that chart from there any question can come okay next question uh, which of the following is not an example of biomass energy so first to understand what is biomass energy biomass energy is uh, as energy which are obtained from the the waste of plants and animals so here wood is also waste of plants and animal gobar gas then coal so here which of this not a biomass energy it will be nuclear energy okay next which of the which of the uh, following group contain non biodegradable items so you can see the option number one option is grass flower and leather all three are biodegradable then second option is glass wood and plastic all so this is also uh, this one also is a And number two is here wood is to biodegradable but two options are there which are not biodegradable so let us see the third option food peel cake lamb juice three or biodegradable cake wood and grass are also so we can take the option number two that is which contain one biodegradable but the remaining two are non biodegradable so glass wood and plastics okay next number thirteen when was ganga action plan launched so here in the in your book it is mentioned nineteen eighty five so all of you will mark this one nineteen eighty five but 
if you search on google it shows 1986 so uh, there is a contradiction so but uh, you will follow the book uh, it is 1985 only okay next uh, what is the color of the precipitate form when the sodium sulfate solution react with barium chloride solution so all of you remember that when whenever sodium sulfate solution react with barium chloride then white precipitate a uh, white colored precipitate is formed so the answer will be it forms white precipitate okay then what is exothermic reaction next question so exothermic reaction all of you know the reaction in which heat is released or evolved is exothermic reaction an example the formation of carbon dioxide if carbon react with oxygen it form carbon dioxide with the release of energy so this type of reaction is known as exothermic reaction very important the difference between exothermic and endothermic is also important so you should see that question okay next question uh, your uh, what is the what is the chemical form of bleaching powder so all of you remember that chuna mein chlorine milao aur bleaching powder banao to chuna is what uh, uh, cao mane caoh it is slack lime slack lime plus chlorine uh, is equals to bleaching powder it is cao cl to all of you remember this that chuna mein chlorine milao bleaching powder banao that chuna chuna means uh, that slack lime okay caoh 2 okay next uh, name the element which have two cells both are completed filled with electrons so all of you know that two well, two cells or that okay the two cells you know that um, uh, if it has two cells then number one cells it maximum number electron to be filled with two the next cells maximum number element required is 8 so here 2 plus 8 is 10 so 10 number of elect, uh, atomic number it is uh, neon neon it the answer will be the element which has two cells which uh, which are completely filled is neon next question question number 18 let us see question number 18 is name the instrument used to measure blood pressure to all of you know uh, spigo um, spigmo manometer is the answer is lunda spelling the pronunciation is very difficult lunda spelling is to be very difficult spelling okay then what is the name of the functional unit of kidney it's all of you know from class 7 only we are getting nephron is the functional unit of kidney okay next Uh, which part of the brain maintain the posture of the an equilibrium of the body is the part of uh, hind brain that is cerebellum okay so remember this let us move to the next question number 21 the next page oh if you see the next question 21 which hormone is secreted by adrenal adrenal gland adrenal gland it will be ha huh? so the hormone secreted by adrenal gland are uh, cortisol and aldosterone but uh, one more question i have seen in the this one test paper this uh, this question remains when the options are given uh, and the question was this like this which hormones is secreted if suppose the question is asked which hormone is secreted by adrenal gland you just write this answer that is cost uh, uh, cortisol and aldosterone and which hormone is secreted by adrenal gland if it is in option no so maybe this four options may be given so in that case you mark adrenaline hormone okay so in if option is given and um, uh, no, these two names are not appearing so mark this option adrenaline otherwise you if this questions come 21 like 21 you write the answer given in the uh, this one screen okay let us see the next question how many sex chromosomes are present in human body and what are they so all of you know that um, two type of sex chromosomes are present in human being x and y in which male uh, have x and y chromosome uh, male uh, means um uh, the male contain x and y chromosome whereas female has only x chromosome okay next what do you mean by zygote so all of you know what zygote means when there is a fusion between the male gametes of that is sperm and female gametes ovum uh, it fertilizes to form eggs uh, which develop into new um, new organisms and that for, um, before that when they form into eggs um, it fertilizes to form eggs that eggs is that eggs are called zygote okay to so learn this uh, definitions or the fusion of sperm and uh, ovum uh, forms egg known as zygote you can write okay uh, or one more more answer i given you uh, you can see below or the fusion of male and female gametes in a single nucleus is formed which leads to the formation of uh, fertilized egg oh, it will fertilize it will be by mistake i written fertilized fertilized egg called zygote okay then what is acquired trait acquired trait means the characteristics which are acquired after birth and which are not uh, linked with the uh, dna or genes are not uh, or are not uh, means uh, passed from the parents to the offspring are called acquired trait that means the trait which a child learn after birth like cycling swimming all this 
and the opposite of acquired trade also remember that inherited trade. inherited trade, trades are trades that uh, that are acquired by organism from their parents and through dna origin okay like blood group or skin color or tallness or roughness or okay, all this then what is genetic drift to uh, this is all of you know the genetic drift means genetic uh, drift means change to so a drastic change or a change in the frequency of dna is known as uh, just genetic drift so you can see the answer i already please note down uh, by pausing the video genetic drift is the change of frequency of existing genes variant in the population due to random chance okay then what is the assi unit of power of lens all of you know very simple diopter d then what is power of accommodation power of accommodation is the ability of eye lens to focus near and far object so the ability of um, eye to focus nearby as well as far object uh, by distinguishing its uh, focal length is known as power of accommodation very important question so let us see the next question number 28 total of 36 or 37 questions i have uh, prepared for you next question is uh, why is the color of the sky blue so all of you know that the uh, red color is is the color uh, is the co light uh, red color light has the maximum wavelength whereas blue color light has the minimum wavelength so blue color light scattered uh, very much in the atmosphere so it is seen much so you can read out here the gases and particles in the earth atmosphere scatter light in all direction blue light is scattered more than the other color because it travels as short shorter smaller web webs and due to this we see sky blue okay it's simple that remember that blue colored light has shorter wavelength so it, um, it travels shorter distance and mainly scattered in the atmosphere so this color is seen everywhere then what is the good source of energy so good source of energy means what the energy which causes less pollution the energy which has high caloric value high caloric value means give more energy uh, than easily accessible easy to transport all these characteristics um, are uh, that means uh, a criteria for uh, calling a energy good okay so read any one i have given to too many uh, as per marks you can write any one of this this six i have given okay then next uh, question number 30 what is the full form of cfc all of you know chlorofluorocarbon So again, note out here chlorofluorocarbon. Then when was Chipko movement started? Chipko movement was started in the year 1973. Okay, please note down all this. Then uh, and some additional information also I given you. You can read out. Then uh, a shiny color uh, element X on heating in air become black in color. Name the element X and the black color compound so on. So it's a text question. Uh, uh, shiny brown color element X on heating become blue in color. So the shiny brown color element X is what? Uh, copper so on reacting with oxygen it it forms copper oxide okay and the reaction also involve hydrogen okay let us move to the next question question number 33 give example of natural indicator and synthetic indicator or artificial indicator synthetic and uh, indicator are also called uh, artificial indicator so some of the examples i have written out here you can read out uh, for example you can see example of uh, uh, natural indicator is turmeric then grape juice red cabbage cherries onion peel etc and synthetic fibers are phenolphthalein and methyl orange okay let us move to the next question question number 34 what is substitution reaction substitution reaction the, the reaction uh, is a type of reaction in which one atom or group of atom takes place of the other atom okay just read out when uh, when atom or group of element take place of the other atom substitution is to substitute right so whenever an element or two element substitute the other element is known as substitution reaction for example i have given you acha one more question is there what happen when methane with react with chlorine in presence of sunlight so when methane react with chlorine in presence of sunlight it forms uh, carbon uh, tetrachloride and hydrochloric acid so you can see the reaction and note down so when methane react with uh, chlorine it forms uh, carbon uh, tetrachloride and hydrochloric acid okay in the presence of sunlight then uh, next question if you see uh, what are the achievement of mendeleev so mendeleev what predicted that some elements will be discovered in the future and so, so see mendeleev predicted the that properties of some element to be discovered in future then number 2 it helps uh, it helped in the correction of atomic mass of some elements many more uh, this one advantages are uh, in your book you can read out from there then name the organ 
through which plant exchange the respiratory gases so uh, there are two three uh, organs to which uh, plants mainly exchange gases these are stomata lentil cells and root hairs okay the exchange of gas uh, takes place through stomata and the process is called diffusion the, the process is being also asked so remember that uh, it exchange gases through these organs stomata lentil cells and root hairs and the process is called diffusion okay then number 37 what is the difference between reflex action and walking all of you know that uh, reflex action means a uh, sudden action a sudden um, uh, involuntary um, uh, protection in our uh, of to our body uh, which is controlled by the spinal cord and walking is a voluntary action which are under our control and mainly our brain control it okay uh, and more definition there are textual questions up so i'm not given the solution you can read it from your text or from google okay what do you mean by homologous and analogous organ oh, this is also a com very common question um, homologous organ means the organs which are uh, which have uh, uh, same basic design or structure but perform different functions okay the homologous organ remember that uh, the the organ which have same basic structure or functions uh, sorry same basic design or structure but perform different function like our four limbs uh, lizard four limbs or cat or dog four limbs all these are homologous organs because their structure are same but the functions are different and the vice versa of uh, homologous is analogous analogous organ means the the organs which uh, which have different basic design or structure but perform similar functions like the wings of an insect like cockroach and the wings of a bird they have different basic structure or design made of different materials but the functions are same of flying okay then uh, right one advantage and disadvantage of solar cooker so very uh, with uh, solar cooker advantage but it, it cause less pollution or does not cause pollution then disadvantage is what cannot cook food at night right solar cooker is pollution free and safe and disadvantage is uh, solar cooker uh, can only be operated uh, during daytime when there is sun during night time you cannot be used okay so th thank you very much uh, do subscribe my channel for more videos i will also upload soon uh, class 10 advanced maths some mcqs as well as general maths so stay tuned thank you very much